and welcome to Cine Shorts on ZTV. I'm your host Ronnie and I'm here to take you beyond the narrative. This episode is titled Nice Guys. Now, nice guys have a reputation to finish last. They never get the dream job, they never get the promotion. They always get picked last in sports teams and they never, most certainly, get the girl. What will be the fate of our protagonist tonight? Has the world changed? Let's find out. is called 2 plus 2 equals 1 by Nitesh N. Don't worry, it's not a film about math or science. It's a comedy film that was shot in two days for the India Film Project, one of Asia's biggest film competitions. The film stars Shankar Murthy, a civil engineer who gets to know about high-paying jobs via a text message. Let's see what happens. Looking for a job, want to earn more than 1 lakh per month, then call us. 1 lakh per month. Hi sir, uh, actually I got a message about your job. Yeah, you receive a message. Come to that location at tomorrow 11 o'clock. No, sir, you really address it, but you don't have office to the office. Message job. Yesterday message, same job, one lakh salary. This, but is, this is our interview process. Understood? No. I understand. He understand. Why you no understand? No understood? Yes. Understood. Understood. My company, my owner. One laksha samla kortine. Mado, Ton Octaero, Samlana, what I da? Yen Kelsa. Robbery. Robbery na. Yen robbery and ya. Elargan Mada Kagalama Martos Nodana. Arvatna Kale Lido and Kale. Elargo Barala. Illa Nanita Kelsa Madala. Those is your in kidney kit culture. Sariba, Sari Sari, Illa Martini Martini. Nodan in the testing area there. I da. Pass other Kelsa. Pale other kidney. Illa. Kandita Pass Martini. Boss, 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 and he gave robbery mad at Bertha Bodo. Other name robbery girl and pan a court in boss, and civil engineer. We need an engineer, boss, in our team. It's a big item. 
ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವೀಕ್ ಒಂದು ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ದರೋಡೆ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಅದಕ್ಕೇನು ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ರೆಡಿ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅವ್ನು ನೋಡು ಯಾವ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕು ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ ಅಲ್ಲೇನಿರುತ್ತೆ ದುಡ್ಡಿರಲ್ವಾ ಏನು ಇರಲ್ಲ ಬರೀ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ನನ್ನ ಹತ್ರ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಐಡಿಯಾ ಇದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ರೋಡಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಹೊಸ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಓಪನ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಜಿಂಚಾಕ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಅಂತ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗಿ ದರೋಡೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಲೋ ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ಹೆವಿ ದುಡ್ಡು ಆರಾಮಕ್ಕೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕೊಳ್ಳೆ ಹೊಡಿಬೋದು ಅದ್ರ ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ರೆಡಿ ಮಾಡೋ ಪಕ್ಕ ಬಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಬ್ಲೂ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಜಿಂಚಾಕ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಬ್ಲೂ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ಬ್ಲೂ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಬಾಸ್ ನೀಲಿ ನಕ್ಷೆ ಹಂಗಂದ್ರೆ ಹಂಗಂದ್ರೆ ನಾವ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಎಂಟ್ರ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ಎಲ್ ಲಾಕರ್ ರೂಮ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಎಲ್ ಕೀ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಫುಲ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಯಾನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಬರ್ದೀನಿ ಈಗ ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ನೋಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ಇರ್ತಾನೆ ಯಾವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಓದ್ ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಮಲ್ಕೊಂಡಿರ್ತಾನೆ ಹೆಂಗಿದೆ ಓಕೆನಾ ಸರಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವೀಕ್ ಹೇಳಿ ಕಳಿಸ್ತೀನಿ ಬಾ ಓಕೆ ಬಾಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಬಾಸ್ ಹಾ ಈಗ ಈಗ ಹೆಂಗೂ ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ಅದೆ ಹೌದು ಬಂದ್ ನಂಗ್ ದುಡ್ಡು ಕೊಡ್ತಾನೆ ಹೌದು ಹಾ ಹೆಂಗೂ ಮೂರ್ ಜನ ಸ್ಲಿಟ್ ಆಯ್ತೀವಿ ಸುಮ್ನೆ ಯಾಕ ಅವ್ನಿಗೆ ಒಂದ್ ಲಕ್ಷ ಶೇರ್ ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕು ನನ್ ಮನ್ಸುಲು ಇದೇ ಇತ್ತು ಕಂಡ್ಲ ಅವನ್ ತಂದ್ ಅವ್ನ್ ನನ್ ಕೈಗ್ ದುಡ್ಡು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಅವ್ನ್ ಹಿಂಗ್ ಹೋಯ್ತಾನೆ ನಾವಿಬ್ರು ಹಿಂಗ್ ಬಂದು ಅಭ್ಯಾಸ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡೋಣ ದುಡ್ಡೆಲ್ಲ ನಾವೇ ಹೊಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ಸರಿ ಒಂದ್ ಕೆಲ್ಸ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಇಳ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಬಿಡು ಎರಡ್ ದಿನ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ನಿನ್ ಶೇರ್ ಬಂದ್ ಈಸ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಬಿಡು ಏನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತೀಯಾ ಅದೇ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಡು ನಿನ್ ದುಡ್ಡು ಬಂದ್ ಈಸ್ಕೊಂಡೋಗಪ್ಪ ಸಾಕು That was 2 plus 2 equals 1 by Nitesh N. Now given that the film was made in such a short time, it would be totally unfair to take that not into consideration. I like the story a lot. We've all been presented jobs, ideas, schemes that promise us a lot of money and riches only to find out later that it was a scam or a hoax. The engineer, played by Shankar Murthy, is the quintessential nice guy. He is convinced that both the robbers and the viewers that we were just an innocent and naive pawn in this grand Machiavellian scheme only to reveal in the end that he had fooled us all. The film's overall theme is lighthearted and fun. The actors were good and I would say that it was a cool and fun film with a nice twist in it. Welcome back to Cine Shorts. Our next film is called Sunday Best. by Ryan O'Regan. Now we've all had to make choices between sports and God at some point in our lives. Okay, maybe not all of us, but most of the men know what I'm talking about. In this film, our main character Barnaby doesn't want to go to church with his wife, but what he wants to do is stay home and watch football, much to her disappointment. What Barnaby doesn't know is that Sunday he's going to watch the game with some very special guests. Let's watch.
Barnaby. 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 <laughs> What's on fire? Oh, you. You are. The way you keep going on with this sleeping late, you're going straight to hell. Doesn't the Bible say something about resting on the Sabbath? I thought oh. I was doing a good job. You always go to church with me on Sundays. Yeah, but that was before it was football season. We dated football season. I know, and after church we'd always go to those luncheons and those seaside taverns you know, mm -hmm. that had the bars, that had the TVs, yeah. that were showing the football games. It's just, <laughs> now that you're all wifed up and everything, ah. you go to your, your bake-offs and your church socials oh. and your... Uh, Lord knows what, by the time you drag me to everything, all the games are done. So football is more important than Jesus and church? I'm not saying that, just... I don't see the point of wasting my Sunday worshipping and working for something that may not really exist. What? I know you just did not tell me God and Jesus ain't real. Well, no, um, I'm sure Jesus was real, but the Ugh. God and the magic powers, and those, those were just stories. We got married in the church, Barnaby, under the eyes of God. Well, you're assuming God has eyes. Look, just all the things with Catholicism and all the other religions and all the assumptions that are me and me, that it all conflicts. I mean, who knows? I certainly don't, and neither do you. Do we really have to go ahead and waste our life here worried about some potential second life that may not really be there? What is this I'm hearing? Is this some atheist talk? More like agnostic, really. Oh, shut up. I'm gonna go. You wanna stay here all day so badly? Then go right ahead. Just remember, Jesus is always watching everything you do. I highly doubt that! Well, she is partially. Uh, Jesus Christ. Who are you and how'd you get my house? Barnaby McKenzie. I am Jesus Christ. Me. That never gets old. Look, I have a gun and I'm not free to use it, but if you don't get out of here, I will. Barnaby, can I call you Barney? All right, look, we both know that's not a gun. That's an iPhone, stop trying to dial 911. I, I've seen you, haven't, you can't even unlock your phone. And second, I actually am Jesus Christ. No bullshit. How did that? Wait a minute, you can't be Jesus Christ. You're black. Well, I'm glad your eyesight's working. Because that whole giving sight to the blind, it's not gonna happen. And have you actually read a description about me that wasn't a film synopsis? Well, no. No, I guess I haven't. All right, let's say for the sake of argument and sanity that I believe you. What are you doing here? Well, you wanna watch some football, right? Well, let's all go watch some football. All? Yeah. Come on, buddy. I'll introduce you to the gang. Bengals. Both teams are coming off week two losses. So we're looking to rebound here in week three. And we'll also be battling the element of this downpour here in Cincinnati. And what the hell is going on here? Titans and Who are all these people? Underway you got Shiva and Shakti over there with the Bengals jerseys on. Come on, Green, or, or Green Ellis, or, or, oh hell, whichever Green you are, just, just score, you son of a bitch! Get through that line! Why do you have to be unnecessarily loud and rude every time you're watching these games? I feel like I'm babysitting you instead of watching with you. Move, you asshole! Move! Things were so much more peaceful when I was dating Grandma. And the happy couple over there, that would be Zeus and Hera. <laughs> Sorry, Shiva. 
Looks like my Titans are going to be keeping your Tigers at bay. That kind of reminds us of those shows that we used to have at the Parthenon. Remember those, baby? Vaguely. You remember I was always in the catacombs beneath having sex with the slaves. <laughs> I was way too busy doing that. I couldn't pay attention to them fighting, too. You know, and come to think of it, I think I was entirely too preoccupied having threesomes with the maidens to even notice that you weren't there. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> you <Here>, Jane? <laughs> and uh, the old guy over there, that's my oldest buddy, Abraham. Hey! Hey, Abe! Abraham was the very first Jew. His mind and his hearing aren't, you know, the best. He still blames me for, for killing Isaac. I wasn't even born yet. I see. Um, who was that one over by the window underneath the curtain? Oh, that's Muhammad. So who's playing, guys? Muhammad! Hello. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Uh, this is my punishment, isn't it? You're gonna have a terrorist bomb me. Uh, should've gone to church. No, no, no. Um, I'm here to watch the game with a few of my colleagues. No bomb. You know what it is the bomb, though? This hummus. Hera, you gotta give me the recipe. It's simple. Just have an orgy and a tub full of chickpeas and extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> you know, as the kids say, it's the tits. About five pairs worth, as I recall. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> oh, dude, you're letting all the vapors out. What the? Who are you? Jesus Christ. You ready? <laughs> Man, it never gets old. Hey, Kyle. I didn't know you were showing up today. Man, I don't even know where I am. This stuff is so good. Uh, I'm calling this greenhouse hashies because Mother Earth is getting baked right now, JC. <laughs> Gaia, as in Fimini Earth, formerly worn by Whoopi Goldberg, Gaia? Um, kind of, sort of. Come on, come with me. I'll explain everything later. Uh, Gaia. Mind if I get a little bit of that? Don't let the door hit you where your daddy supposedly split ya. Look, I don't know if I'm just like freaking out ever since the stress hit me from meeting you, or if I'm just really high from all that smoke hitting me in the face earlier. But could you just please tell me what in the world is going on here? Sure. But first, yeah. Miss. And it's put a few moves on, and he gets about a gain of 14. Yeah. Thank you. I thought you turned water into wine. Actually, I drink wine like it's water. So you know how your wife Angie told you that Jesus sees everything you do? Well, I don't. I actually don't care what anyone does. Like Kermit says, it's none of my business. Mm. But when you became agnostic, that's when you popped up on our radars. So what, you're here to punish me or to change my mind because I don't really know what God is? Just the opposite, exactly. We're all agnostics. No, you're not. You and Abraham are Jews. Muhammad's a Muslim. Zeus and Hera and Shiva and Shakti, they're all gods. Which makes it really weird about how you all are existing in the same place. Exactly. Because we can't exist in the same place. We're not all the gods and prophets and deities that people make us out to be. We're just people, like you. Big Z here and I, we're just a couple of Greek swingers. Just living life, nobody ruling over us. That's just how we believe. But apparently, our exploits became so legendary, people started telling stories about it. <laughs> and even started bringing us gifts and offerings, like food and virgins. You know, I really liked the virgins. I really, I really did. And all that nonsense about me throwing bolts of lightning and thunder and all that garbage, that was really just me throwing the shocker. You see this? This right here? I invented this. You're welcome. Showed going to these middle-aged man-child tantrums. Hey, hey! I don't have any tantrums. Take that back. And people are amazed how 
him and I were able to maintain the peace and harmony. And before we knew it, people raised us on these pillars because they wanted to be just the way we were. Shakti, baby. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what's wrong with me today. You see, my team's crapping out and I'm losing my hair and... It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, baby. Okay, well, what about Muhammad? I mean, when did his people become all militant and shit? No. I didn't start a military. I just uh, found a way for me and my people to prosper in the harsh times of environment. Uh, however, what I was teaching and what is being learned now is very different. Uh, not about conquering and pillaging, just about the betterment of the people. Can I come out from behind these drapes? Nope. Sorry, Moo. Just because you wouldn't hurt us doesn't mean others wouldn't. Oh, poop. And what about you? I suppose you just didn't want to follow the Jewish teachings? Hell no. I mean, look at Abe. He thinks Gaia is on fire because she's constantly smoking. That's why she stays in the bathroom. So, really, you're saying you're all just normal? Pretty much. So what do you say? Are you ready for some football? I'll get my beer bond. That baby. Big time with you all. Can we do this every Sunday? I don't know about every Sunday. I mean, what about Angie? Yeah, what about Angie? I saw a couple of pictures of her lying around, and uh, yeah, I think we need her around. And none of that. But I mean, forget about Angie. If she wants to go ahead and stick with all that Catholic mumbo jumbo, let her. I know the truth now. Hmm. All right, guys, pack your stuff. Let's get out of here. Ah, come on. Oh wait, where are y'all going? I, I thought we were having a good time. And we thought you were one of us. But I guess we were wrong, you asshole. Oh, what are you talking about? I, 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 I didn't do anything wrong, I'm still agnostic. I, I still know nothing, ask anybody. Are you? Are you really? Or are you just some sort of a judgmental prick who wouldn't want to spend a day with his wife doing something she wanted to do? So what is it? Honey, I should destroy down. your face. Honey, calm. 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 Go get your phone, too. Asshole. Go. Oh, I think the point she was trying to make was we all have lost our way from the time it first started. We shouldn't and couldn't judge them. Despite how or why they began, whether it be fact or fiction, they drive people to become better than who they are. You can't tell people different that they don't want to believe. But occasionally, some people stop to think, like you did. That's where we come in. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh man, I was a prick, wasn't I? Uh, I, I, I guess I just need to remember that I didn't fall in love with her because of the church. I fell in love with her because of her. The church just happened to help make her who she was. Now are you getting it? Thanks. And hey, if I can ever do anything for any of you guys at all, you know, please, don't hesitate to ask. Uh-oh. Hello? Oh, no. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Is anyone there? Jesus? Shiva? Oh no! It's Joseph Smith! Everybody hide! What, the, the, what, what, what's wrong with you people? You know how none of us actually believe the religions that are based off us? Well, Joseph Smith does, and it annoys the shit out of us! Quickly hide! Come on, guys! 
I can hear y'all talking in there, you bunch of silly gooses. Let me in so I can watch the foosball with you. I know I don't have my own jersey, but guess what? I've got trail mix and carrots. As long as we hide, we're safe. Guys, I know you're still there. I can see Mohammed in the window. No, you can't. If you want to do us a favor, don't let him in. Thanks, Mr. Smith, but I'm not interested. Barnaby! 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 Oh, damn it, she's back. Hello, everyone. Uh, oh, oh damn, damn it, he's, he's back. back. What, what's going on here? What is this? Who, who are these people? And who are those hoochies? Is this what you call important? I didn't, this is, I, uh, you know what? I couldn't even tell you what this looks like, and I've been here all day. Out there, there's a world outside of Yonkers. Way out there beyond this hick town, Barnaby. There's a slick town, Barnaby. Out there, full of shine and full of sparkle. Close your eyes and see it glisten, Barnaby. That was Sunday Best, directed and starring Ryan Reagan. For a short film, the movie tackles very difficult and complex world of religious dogma, agnosticism, and contact sports. And in the end, the wonderful message it leaves you with is that we must accept everyone as equal, no matter what their beliefs are. Sometimes that's very relevant in our current political climate. Most of the actors did a great job. Barnaby is a lovable character and Ryan Reagan played the role of the submissive husband really, really well. Overall, a nice concept and a fun story. Welcome back to Cine Shorts. Our next film is a delightful comedy. Director Samir Acharya's Have I Shared Too Much is a quirky parody poking fun at our social media obsessed world. Starring the extremely talented Ravi Patel as a job interviewee, the movie highlights how social media is changing personal and professional lives throughout the planet. Let's take a look. Team player, we'll have a challenge. Communication is key. Communication. We'll have a challenge. Team player, communication is key. Communication. communication is key. You must be John. Hi. I'm Lisa Romano. Right. Welcome to WFK Consulting. Chris Jeffries. <laughs> nice to meet you. Jake Suter. What's up? Nice to meet you. So I, I uh, brought my resumes. About yourself, John? Well, um, I'm very passionate about working and I'm diligent and uh, hardworking. What do you like, John? What do I like? Eating, sleeping, the cool side of the pillow, not getting eaten by bears. <laughs> Come on, Jake. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Do you hate it when it looks like there's a parking spot, but it's actually just a small car? Really, Jake? Mm, yeah, yeah, I would, I would say so for sure. Would you choose to share that hatred with the world? No, no, I don't think so. No, you wouldn't, because it's a stupid idea. You'll have to excuse my colleague. Where did you find out about us? Monster.com? No, actually, um, I found out on, on LinkedIn. Oh! LinkedIn! Oh. Woo! <laughs> you guys should go to it right now. Check it out. Is, it, is something wrong? Well, it says here you did an internship with 616 Consulting, but it's not on your resume? Oh, that was um, that was an internship, and so because it wasn't paid employment, I thought maybe it wasn't relevant experience. Six One Six competes with us on several projects. Yeah, I, I don't want to go back to work there. 
I wanted to come to the big, big players. I see you recommended five people. That's awfully nice of you. Oh, it's the least I could do. It was such a pleasure working for those guys. Like, why didn't they recommend you? In fact, how come no one's recommended you, John? Uh, well, well, with those, they asked me to recommend them. And so I didn't ask anyone to recommend me. I totally understand, John. Mary's stuck at the airport. Did she email you? No, she posted it on Twitter. Oh. You on Twitter, John? You tweet, you do that? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, actually, actually I am. Really? What's your username? Uh, um, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, <coughs> smooth, smooth operator? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you follow on Twitter, John? <laughs> oh, I follow um, just, you know, the normal names, you know, celebrities, athletes, uh, comedians, um, you know. I see you follow Kim and Courtney, but not Chloe. Why is that? The truth is, Chloe... Yes? Tell us the truth about Chloe. I just, I think she's trashy. Nothing offensive or inappropriate. I see you like to retweet a lot. But not from Chloe. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, if something catches my eyes, I retweet it. Hey, if you can't beat it, retweet it. That's nice of you, John. When you retweet something, it's as though you're validating what someone else writes. Exactly. For God's sakes, Lisa, I'll follow you. Can you let it go already? Twitter, huh, Lisa? Is that where you're interesting? Because it certainly isn't on Facebook or real life. I've retweeted you twice already, Chris, and if you don't even have the decency to follow me... But John... Why would you ever tweet? I mean, you have like six people following you. Oh, I really like the concept of Twitter. It's just a good concept. Twitter, it's a great concept. And, I mean, do you know these people? Well, I really try to not, um, try not to say anything um, that might have any personal or professional um, negative uh, ramifications. You follow Justin Bieber. Oh my God, I love him. Why would you follow Justin Bieber? My wife and I have the fever. You know, Justin's like, you know, he's one of the most popular guys on Twitter, so I, ju I just like to follow all the all the popular ones. Keep my, my finger on the on the pulse. <laughs> as long as you're not a fan of his on Facebook. <laughs> John, hmm? are you a fan of Justin Bieber's on Facebook? Yes. yes, you are. Let me ask you, do you think it's normal for a 30-year-old man, aside from Chris, to be a fan of Justin Bieber? I, <clears throat> here's the thing, my niece, she had sent me an invitation to join his fan page, so I just didn't want to disappoint my niece. I think I saw you on date one. All right, Jake, that's enough! You know, that, there's a lot of Indian guys on that show. It's just a fun little website. It's not even that important. So if it's not that important, Chris, then why are you Facebook friends with my fiance? You know what, I feel like... Maybe we should reschedule. You guys have a lot of things going on here. It's fine, John. But you know what, Jake? Kiss my ass! Why don't you kiss my ass? Oh. So I do a lot of volunteer work. For the last time, she added me! I don't care! You guys met for five minutes, now you're BFF? Imagine if we spoke for half an hour. <laughs> Please! We're in the midst of an interview. What's your problem? I don't have a problem, little miss. I can't wait to tell everybody how much I hate everything. Oh, I'm sorry, mister. I tell bad jokes on Facebook and then like them. Too bad nobody else does. Hey, hey Lisa, thanks for sharing those 6,000 photos of you and your boring ass friends at the club. I do both Mac and PC. Hey, Chris. Yeah, Jake. Yeah, you're a, you're a, you're a, you're a, you're a stinky man. Oh, real mature, Jake Stinky. John, I just, Added you as a friend right now? You'll accept me, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, as soon as I, as soon as I get home. Well, why don't you do it right now? You have a phone with you now. Oh, you know what the thing is? Is that I um, I actually keep separate profiles for you know, professional, personal. Two, two profiles. You know, not to mention I don't even know if I'm getting service right now. I have reception. Well, I have reception. Full bars. Well, I'm not even looking, and I know that I have reception. Okay. Yep. Look at that. Facebook friend request. Check. Accept. That's done. <laughs> oh, how cute. You were nervous about today's interview. John, do you wait for like 10 people to add you to accept them so you look more popular? No, I just, you know, I just don't, don't log in that often. What do you do for fun? Love the beach. You love the beach? Or do you love doing tequila shots at the beach? 
beach. Either or. <laughs> kidding. Just the beach. I see you like to go to the gym. Easy, Lisa. I see you have a lot of pictures of athletes and celebrities. You know that they don't give a crap about you, right, John? Oh, yeah. I, you know, for me, it's, 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 it's mostly just a, just a valuable a valuable conversation topic. Did you really camp out at the midnight showing of Twilight? Oh, that was just something we did for fun. It's pretty funny. Why? There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, if you're a 14-year-old girl, it's fine. You love Twilight. So you do like to, I see, check in at the gym and, uh, and at the library, but uh, it's funny how some people never like to check in when they're at the liquor store or the strip club. Very smart, John. I see you don't let friends comment on your wall. No, I mean, for me, I, I pretty much keep it closed, unless, of course, it's a birthday. So. Oh, you have to keep it open on your birthday, otherwise you'd have to respond to everyone with a personal message. Oh, total waste of time. Would you give us a second? He has 200 friends. That's good. Any more, and he'd just be accepting anyone and everyone. Yeah, but he's ethnic. He's supposed to have at least 500 if you're ethnic. What? That's a rule. I've heard that. What from who? who? From ethnic people. Who do you know that's ethnic? I voted for Obama. So what? So did I. That just means that I... Um, uh, guys, I, um... I don't think this job is right for me. Why not, John? Because you guys are, are obsessed with social networking. Easy, John. Social networking is great, but if you're not careful, there is a downside. Facebook is great for connecting with old friends. Twitter connects you to the world. LinkedIn is, um, LinkedIn is nice to have. Thank you. What's your point? My point is, I think maybe you and this organization needs to set clear boundaries for how you use social networking. It's great to be friends with your coworkers, but we've lived most of our lives without social networking. All right, perhaps it's become too big of a part of our lives. Maybe, maybe it's okay to keep our online personal lives away from our online professional lives. If for no other reason than that we can make sure we focus on our work and not what we post online. That was absolutely brilliant. He's a natural. You really are a great consultant. You identified a fairly obvious problem and followed it up with a list of broad generalizations that I think we all would agree with. Yeah. You proposed a solution that doesn't seem to cost us anything, and you're even willing to sacrifice your benefit for the sake of the group. When can you start? Are you serious? We'd be lucky to have you. Congratulations, John. You. You guys, you guys really got me nervous. You know, especially with the the fiance and the Facebook stuff, which we're still not talking about. Do you want me to defriend her? No, just stop commenting on everything she writes. Deal. Deal. I have to ask, does anyone actually like LinkedIn? Hey, easy. That was Samir Acharya's Have I Shared Too Much? This was a good example of a comedy of manners. The characters were as likable as a one way or another. The film took subtle jabs at social networking throughout, ending with that big finish. The actor Ravi Patel was fantastic. He was funny and awkward and he had some really great lines. Patel has gone to much bigger projects like Meet the Patels and Aziz Ansari's Master of None. You can clearly see why he's regarded as such a great comedic performer. Great job, Ravi. And that's all we have for this episode. Please don't forget to tune in to the next episode of Cine Shorts. And don't forget to write to us at cineshorts at asiatvusa.com. I'm your host, Ronnie, signing off. Goodbye.